hello and welcome to my channel if you are new so please subscribe to my channel if you already subscribed so thank you once again for watching another video so in today's video we are going to change the the brake fluid so this is toyota oris hybrid 2012 plate so uh, it has got the third generation hybrid engine so most of the toyota's vehicles they have um, a third generation hybrid engine such as uh, toyota prius toyota prius plus and uh, uh, camry so if you own a vehicle that is from 2010 till 2015 so you will be most likely going to have the same engine if your engine looks like the same so you will be having the uh, your uh, brake fluid on that side as i have got so today's video as we are going to replace the brake fluid i would like to give you some information why we should replace the brake fluid uh you know the brake fluid uh, it, it runs in our vehicle it stays in our vehicle for several years so uh, let me tell you why we should change our brake fluid uh oftenly uh, I started having problem uh, with my brake caliper they start getting seized so I had to replace both of them uh, because uh, the cylinder was uh, freeze the piston was not moving properly and uh, my car was taking too much power while I, I was driving so uh, then I opened up my bonnet and I checked that the level for the brake fluid was nearly minimum and uh, I found out the previous owner uh, he never changed the brake fluid so what happens if you don't change your brake fluid is uh, it gets the water moisture and it gets dissolved uh, with the, your brake fluid and it start uh, getting your any uh, metal uh, that is passing through it start making them corroded and uh, making them rusted so the rust basically build up in your um, in your lines and uh, it goes towards your your um, caliper and uh, you know uh, once it build up too much it, uh, it stop the supply to the to the caliper so you have your caliper failed and seized so i changed both of the calipers because uh, i never bothered and the previous owner never bothered to change the brake fluid so i i it costed me uh, to, to installing two calipers uh, if the previous owner could have changed this like every five at least five years or whatever the time so we wouldn't be having the seized caliper problem uh, that is one of the reason that your caliper can seize there there could be some other problems that uh, cause your caliper to seize but i believe uh, that was the main issue that uh, the brake fluid was never changed so today i'm going to uh, show you how you can do it step by step to change your uh, brake fluid so stay tuned so first we are going to remove uh, uh, the battery uh, power supply uh, that is in the back situated in the back so that's the plus it's broken anyway so i'm gonna take that off so i'm using the 10 millimeter uh, millimeter wrench to unscrew the battery bolt so we just uh, uh, took out the battery terminal why because uh, you know this car is a hybrid car uh, so the braking system works different uh, to the normal uh, uh, petrol engine cars because uh, first it applies the uh, you know uh, battery generated brakes and then it applies your hydraulic brakes so every time you open up your driver door so what it does is it pumps up uh, your um, your hydraulic brakes uh, first so if you don't uh, um, uh, uh, remove the terminal what, what you're going to do is uh, is the pump if there is a, a master cylinder is going to pump your brakes and uh, if your reservoir is empty it's going to take the air inside your uh, braking system which is uh, very dangerous and you don't want to do it so make sure you uh, always uh, remove the battery terminal first before uh, uh, getting the, the the fluid out from this uh, reservoir so i'm going to remove the cup 
So I'm using my syringe to take out the fluid. Uh, make sure you don't drop uh, this brake fluid to uh, on your uh, paint because it's going to peel off your paint so if you accidentally drop uh, it on your uh, paint body paint uh, so what you can do is you can just quickly uh, wipe it so as you can see there was no enough uh, fluid in this uh, reservoir um, so whatever the amount was left i tried to pull that out uh, with my uh, syringe uh fluid syringe so uh, what you're going to do is we're going to put some uh, fresh brake fluid into this reservoir and then we're going to put the terminal button to bleed the the braking system uh, so let's do this Now we are going to put the battery terminal back. That is tight. Secure. the battery cover is back so everything is done from this side so as you can see i have removed the tire and uh, now we are going to bleed the caliper the brake line from the caliper so that's the bleeder point there's a rubber cap we need to take the rubber cap out using a 10 mil uh, wrench to unscrew brake fluid came out from uh, this plug now we are going to tighten up this plug put the safety cap back so this bleeding is done we are going to repeat the same process for the other uh, rear side uh, rear right side uh, caliper we are to the other side I will take off the wheel um, going to remove the safety cap from the uh, bleeder plug I'm using the 10 millimeter wrench to unscrew this one uh, I'm going to ask my assistant to press the pedal uh, so I can just bleed the from this out now Press the pedal again. Do it again. Like that. Do it one more time. As we were bleeding, you have seen the level of uh, this reservoir from it was maximum. Now it's gone to uh, on the middle. We're going to top this up to maximum again uh, to do before starting the front uh, wheel bleeding. So now this is the front tire. We are uh, we have removed the cover, and uh, now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, unplug uh, this uh, 
bleeding plug. So I'm gonna ask my assistant to pump up the brake. As you can see. Do it again. Pump the brake again. So we are done with this now. Oh, we are going to do the to the last one. That's good enough now. We are going to close this one. Now I'm going to put the safety cap back. So we are done with the bleeding. Now we let's check the level. As you can see, that's the maximum level. And that's the minimum level, it's going down from the maximum level, so we are going to top this up. Fluid is there. Now we're going to close the cup. Make sure it's uh, tightened properly. So before we finish, I like to mention some points here. You, if you are replacing your brake brake fluid, you only need two liter of uh, brake fluid. So the second bottle is uh, basically I put like a little bit from it. So actually you need one liter bottle, but uh, if you want to drain more, so you need a, the the maximum quantity you need is two bottle so yeah that was it for today's video if you like today's video don't forget to uh, subscribe like share so i'll see you in the next informative video